Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing a very unique racket. It's actually from one of those decathlon stores. I don't know if there's one by you, but they're slowly starting to pop up um, where I live. Uh, it's still quite a ways, but um, I didn't actually walk into one of those stores, but my buddy Andy, thank you Andy, uh, lent me his because he raves about these rackets. So today I'm gonna be reviewing this Artango TR9900. And it's from the Decathlon store. Let's see, right here. TR9900 Pro, I think is their uh, exact name. And it's uh, the name of the racket, I guess, is called Artango. So I haven't set foot in this store before, um, but I want to um, hear a lot of great things about it. It's kind of like the Uniglobe of sporting goods, you know, big store with a bunch of their own brand sporting goods, including tennis rackets. So hold tight. All right. So a fan actually emailed me and requested this video, but Decathlon has been on my radar for a little while now but again haven't had time to get in there because uh, of what's going on but uh his name is ricardo traconis um hello i'm a fan of you from mexico i have have you tried the brand artingo tr 990 it's from the sports store decathlon they say it's very good for the price well, thank you, Ricardo, for sending the email. I'm gonna do the review right now. So let's let's check their website. Um, let's check their website. I wanna show you uh, what the web website says about the racket first. Hold tight. All right, so I'm on the Decathlon website. Uh, first thing that pops into my mind is, look at that price, $119 for a graphite racket. And they got the grip sizes here. Eighth, quarter, three-eighths, and half. No five-eighths here. Let's look at some of these pictures. So the interesting thing about these rackets also from the Cathlon is they come strong. Uh, it comes with a poly black string with a stencil on it, just like that. So for 120 bucks, you can get a strung racket ready to go. Uh, and they have, actually offer free returns and free shipping too. Let's move down. So let's see what they say about it. Um, adults, adults tennis racket TR9900 Pro is designed for expert club players looking for a racket that provides power, spin, and stability on impact. So, so they say it's a 10.6 ounce racket, a la Pure Drive, and pretty much. 80% of the rackets that's made these days. So right in line with everything else, they talk about the spin, stability, and the precision. Uh, some of their probably sponsored players. This looks like Melanie Noel from France and Steve Darsis, uh, who was in number 38 on the ATP in 2017. Uh, and let's look at their ratings. Wow, look at that. 86 people gave it five stars. 29 gave it four stars. And only about, what's that, nine people gave it three stars or less. So, you know, rave reviews on this racket. Composition. So 55% carbon frame, graphite, 45% epoxy. So epoxy is probably the glue that holds the carbon graphite together. Makes total sense. Um, handles made out of polyurethane. Polyurethane, yeah. Uh, all that makes sense. They have a poly string on it. 10.6 uh, ounce. Balance is 12.6, 100 square inch head. Uh, 16 point by nine string pattern. Obviously, it's imported. That's it. All right. So let's talk about the racket a little bit more. 
Okay, so here are the specs of this racket before strings, according to their website. Um, unstrung. The weight's 10.6, a la Pure Drive, Pure Arrow, and a myriad of other rackets on the market. Uh, balance is 12.6 inches. I'll convert that later. Um, they didn't say swing weight, but it's a stiff racket at 70. So the RA is 70 on that that racket. Head size is 100 square inches, 10 point, uh, 16 by 19 string pattern. Okay, so apparently this racket is like a version of a pure drive. Uh, Wilson Ultra, something like that. But let's go over the numbers um, with it strung and uh, with an overgrip on it. So my buddy Andy put, you know, like most of you would do, would put an overgrip on it, just like this, probably a dampener too. So first off, you can see that it's a round frame. It reminds me of a head extreme, the older head extreme, which looked like this or like a Wilson, man, it takes me way back. Even this color reminds me of that. Like a Wilson Hammer, kind of a 5-0, 4 uh, in the TI series, kind of in there, Hyper Hammer series. Y you guys know what I'm talking about. It looks kind of like that, that with the round head, the thicker beam. So let's let's balance it out. So it's a three eighths with an overgrip. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the uh, balance board here. Well, it almost got suspended right there. Thirty two point five. Okay, so let's hit the scale. Three thirty four. Let's see what the swing weight is. Twenty-six. Okay, let's go analyze. All right, so here's what we got. So before strings and everything else on the racket, it's ten point six, which is like three hundred grams. Strung, three three thirty-four. Uh, balance, three twenty-five. Strung. Swing weight is 326. So these numbers are pretty aggressive numbers, actually. So these are normal rackets for a racket like this. I mean, if you look at a pure drive um, racket, it, the numbers are gonna be very, very similar. Um, extreme, very similar. Uh, I mean, anything kind of in that category will have these similar specs. Um, I did convert that balance for you guys. 12.6 uh, inches is about 317 on the balance board. I got Coach Andrew uh, to try this out. So uh, stay tuned for that. So coach, yeah. you just used that uh, Artingo from uh, the Decathlon store. Yeah. Uh, what'd you think of that? Uh, to be honest, it's not a bad racket. Um, design, it's pretty thick on the throat. So, I mean, when I was hitting with this earlier, it was actually feeling pretty nice. Solid base all around. Um, when you actually hit through these balls, it feels like, you know, a car of a suspension. 
absorbs a lot of that paste. So like a shock? Yeah, it's basically like a shock. Think about like a big shock absorber, right? You know the Prince ones that used to have like the shock absorbers? Oh in yeah, there? yeah, yeah, the double bridge. Or, yeah, it's kind of like that feeling when you get with this, but this was like definitely more compact. Like when you hit it, when you like get it on the spot, it almost feels like it compresses all that or absorbs all that power and then you just drive through it. I mean, it has a big sweet spot. You can hit this anywhere and it pretty much absorbs a lot of a lot of the power. Did it have power though? Yeah, <laughs> if you hit flat. If you really hit it flat, you'll get the pop. But you, when you try to hit it like your, your modern day toss spin, it feels a little compressed. It doesn't feel you're hitting through enough. Got so, it. I mean, if it's like a beginner or some like I would say if a beginner wants to use this, I mean this is not a bad racket at all. I'm not saying it's not a good one, um, or a bad at all. It's just for a beginner, it's not a bad racket to have. It reminds you of like an old. It's basically a knockoff version of the Pro Style, honestly. Right. So they call the Cathlon calls that a uh, intermediate club level racket. I honestly can see that. Yeah. I mean it. it, it it definitely, I could definitely see a lot of the club members who are intermediate players use this racket because it's actually pretty, pretty nice. Like it gives a lot. This like the, there's a hundred square inches. It reminds me of like kind of the bow plus sweet spots. It's pretty big. If you hit it anywhere, it still gives you a pretty good response and feel. Um, it's easy on the arm actually because it, since it compresses all that power when that ball comes, it should feel a lot easier and less on your arm to absorb that power and then drive through. Um, but other than that, yeah, I mean, if you're if you're like a advanced player, like a top junior, this is a wreck you want to steer away from. But if you're just playing for funs, like your casual like club playing matches and going through all of that, then yeah, this is a pretty nice racket to have actually. Cool. All right, good. Where can we find you, buddy? You can find me at agu.tennis, and I'll also be posting all that content there. All right. Thank you. Of course. All right, so here's what we found out about this uh, Artengo TR9900 Pro. Um, both, like I, I let Coach Andrew and Coach Rafa hit with it, and I, I hit with it a little bit too at the end. Um, we all thought that it felt muted. So even though we took we took the dampener off just to see how it would feel, but the racket felt pretty muted. Um, I asked my buddy Andy what uh, what he strung it with and this is Vocal Cyclone uh, 17 at 48 pounds so that's in my sweet spot in terms of tension uh, Vocal Cyclone is not a bad poly string so it should have been okay for this racket but um, we all kind of had the same conclusion in that this racket's like like a shock. It, it feels like a shock in a car. When you when the ball hits the strings, it actually gives, like the racket's giving along with the strings and then shooting it out of there. Um, but the strange thing is, if you don't hit it, if you don't swing, if you don't hit it hard, it doesn't react that way. You have to swing hard to cause that um, reaction from the spring or the shock so because if you lay up on it um, don't swing hard it it kind of dies so not sure I mean I guess I can call this the the decathlon shock racket or or the car shock racket uh, suspension racket maybe but that's kind of how it feels but if you tag it right that 70 on the RA definitely uh, comes through I mean, the power stiffens up, ball takes off. Um, but it, so it, it's got a muted feel, but you know, for 120 bucks, graphite racket, you could put it right, pull it right off the shelf and go play. I mean, that's a really good deal. Uh, so I gotta get myself out to uh, the decathlon store and, store and check out everything they got. So apparently everything is their own brand. Um, they even have tennis balls there. Uh, some Andy actually showed me a can of tennis balls, and I said, "Hey, those are Wilson U.S. Open balls. Uh, it comes from the same plant." So he was kind of shocked by that.
but uh, but he says they're good balls. So that was my review of the Decathlon's Artango TR9900 Pro. So I'm gonna try to do a video inside the Decathlon store once I get to one, just to see what kind of tennis goodies they got. And uh, I'll broadcast that out, hopefully in the next week or two when I get to one. All right, so thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.